Hello, how are you my students? How are you today? So, let's continue working with the past simple, right? Remember with the regular verbs in the affirmative sentences, in the positive sentences, we add ed, right? For example, So let's see, here we have an example of a regular verb, for example, play, yes? In the positive sentence, you add to the verb play, you add ed, yes? They played football last Friday, but in the negative, you have the didn't, to negate so you don't put the ed right they didn't play football last friday and for the question you put the did yes at the beginning of the sentence so again the play yes the verb play goes without ed yes did they play football last friday Yes, they did, and no, they didn't. You see? So this is a clear example of a regular verb in the past. But the irregular verbs, I mean, they are irregular. You need to remember them by heart, right? There is a list where you can consult the verbs, right? Um, remember that irregular verbs are the ones that change completely, right? So, for these verbs, you need to study them, right? Yes or yes, van a tener que estudiarlos. ¿sí? Y en la reglita, you have infinitive, es la primera columna, the second column, la segunda columna, yes, the simple past, and remember, only for the positive sentences, right? Solo va a cambiar el verbo en las positive. Because in the negative sentences and in the questions, you have the auxiliary. Didn't or did. When you have the auxiliary, you don't change the verb. The verb goes in the infinitive form when it is negative or questions, right? So, here I have some examples for the irregular verbs in your workbooks. There is a list of irregular verbs in the past at the very end, yes? So, here you will find this is the first part, is the infinitive, and this is the list in the past, right? One irregular verb is sing, yes, sing, right? Let's work with that verb. We know that sing is an irregular verb, so we open the workbook, right? We open the workbook at the very end, and we look for the S, yes, right? So here we have sing, and the past of sing is sang right so we are going to use sang for the positive sense well and here i have the example in the irregular verb yes we chose the verb sing in the positive sentence you change the verb yes he sang for example in the show last last weekend yes last month the negative, he didn't, and here we use the verb in the infinitive. Yes, we don't use the sang, we use the infinitive verb. He didn't sing in the show. And for the question, did he sing in the show? Yes, he did, and no, he didn't. Right? So, as homework, from your student's book, 
right? You need to complete, yes, finish page 58, yes, you need to complete the vocabulary number one, two, three, and I want you to do this activity also. And page 60, that is, it is a reading comprehension, and page 61, only the grammar part, activities 1, 2, and 3, yes, only that, for Wednesday.